Hey guys, it's Eliza and welcome to my first like real video on this channel. The first thing I had posted was just kind of a little intro. So this is my first actual video with content. So I'm super excited about that. I debated what to do for my very first video and I decided to do a sort of diet journey overview because so much of this channel is going to be about food and nutrition. I kind of wanted to start off by sharing what I used to eat, what I eat now, what I'd like to eat in the future. I'm just gonna give you guys an overview of where I am diet wise. So let's get started in the beginning or this way, whichever way the beginning is. When I was a kid, I was an omnivore. I was actually a super adventurous eater. I can remember eating and loving a ton of stuff that most kids would not even go near. Oysters, mussels, frog legs, snails. I did eat a mostly vegetarian diet because my mom is a vegetarian and she prepared most of my foods. However, I had no problem eating meat at a restaurant or my dad prepared some meat, he's an omnivore. Then the first time I ever thought really about what I was eating was I would say in like mid to late high school. Prior to that, I really didn't care. Nutrition was not something that even <laughs> was in my existence. Around that time, I kind of first dabbled in the thought of maybe going vegetarian or pescatarian. I didn't really make any moves towards it, but it was the first time I thought about it. One change that I did make was I cut out a lot of junk food. However, my reason for doing that was not the most noble. A big part of why I did that was because I felt very elitist doing it. I remember just feeling so superior over friends and peers when they would be eating junk food and I would turn it down. Like in my head, I would just be like, <laughs> you know, I just like, it's good that I reduced my junk food intake, but my reasoning and mindset behind it was all screwy and wrong wants me. I was also really into calorie restriction, which I'll probably go into in another video. I'm not going to talk about that a lot in this video, but that was another big problem. Then we'll fast forward to summer after my freshman year of college. Freshman year of college, I really didn't care what I ate. I was too busy, too broke, and too kitchenless to give a shit. I drank a ton, like a ton. <laughs> Yeah, my diet was pretty much terrible. <laughs> so anyway, we're at the summer after my freshman year of college. So that summer, I did a special psychology program and one of the classes that we took was health psychology. What we talked about in that class was the impact that your physical health has on your mind. And that was a big awakening for me. And what was an even bigger awakening was a little group trip that we did as part of that class. We went to see the documentary Forks Over Knives, which I guess had just come out at the time. That documentary had a huge impact on me. If you haven't seen Forks Over Knives, I highly recommend it. It is one of my all-time favorite food and nutrition documentaries. Forks Over Knives is basically about the whole food plant-based diet, which if you're not familiar with that, it's kind of like one small step further than veganism in that in addition to cutting out animal products, they also cut out processed food. So anyway, after seeing that documentary, I was woke. Wait, is woke the right word? You get a sudden understanding of what's really going on. Yes, I was woke. So after seeing that film, I do not recall ever eating meat again, with the exception of fish. I very well might have <laughs> consumed meat drunk. <laughs> but I don't recall purposefully eating it ever again. Also, after seeing that film, I drastically reduced my dairy, egg, and fish intake as well. I did not go fully vegan or anything like that, but I probably cut down my consumption by about 50%. So that was kind of major health change number one. My next big health change came maybe a year or two later when I saw the documentary. Yes, I am very easily influenced by documentaries not gonna lie. When I saw the documentary, Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead, it was made by this Australian guy, Joe Cross, who does a juice cleanse. He does this cleanse for, I think it was 60 days. It was a long ass juice cleanse. And he does it because at the start of the film, he is fat sick and well, I don't know if he was nearly dead, but he wasn't doing too great. By the end, he loses a lot of weight. He's off all the meds. He has this amazing transformation. Anyway, that film really got me interested for the first time ever in juicing and raw food, which was something that I had never thought about before. And after seeing that documentary, I went out and got a juicer. I did a juice cleanse. I did not do a 60 day one. I did like a five day one. Then after that, over the next few years, 
years, I just kind of got more and more interested in the benefits, like really the health benefits of a vegan diet, a raw vegan diet. So now we kind of get to where I am today. My diet now is I would say around 90% vegan maybe 95%. I consume almost no dairy, almost no eggs. I will have eggs a handful of times a year, if that. And fish also just very rarely. Fish and eggs have been really hard for me. I'm still working on finding suitable replacements for them. Meat was easy and dairy has been easy. I don't have any cravings, but fish and eggs I crave. I would love to give them up eventually and that's where I'm headed. I also eat a very raw diet. I would say my diet now is about 30 to 40% raw food. Cause I feel like your diet is always a work in progress and it's something that you know changes with you. It should never be something that you're locked into and you feel trapped or hindered or anything like that. So I really, I shouldn't say that my end game is to be vegan. I should say that's what I would like my next stage to be. I would like to go more and more vegan and more and more raw and then just kind of keep seeing like what works for my body and what feels good, what makes me operate at my best. And yeah, just kind of see what I like. So anyway, that is my sort of diet overview. I hope you found it interesting. I just kind of wanted to share where I am, where I'm going and Please like and subscribe and leave a comment on your diet journey. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.